Hey, what's up, everybody? Reggie Kimball of the Stickman Podcast. And I just recently had a chance to sit down with my boy Jonathan Gillard of Majesty Bourbon. We were down at the Brownstone ATL. Shout out to the folks down at Brownstone ATL for putting up with us for a couple hours as we sat back and we puffed, <laughs> we sip, we chat, and we repeat. Check out Reggie Kimball, John Gillard, Stickman Podcast, Majesty Bourbon. Peace. I just want to make sure. I'm, I'm not going to bullshit you. Don't you. Have to, you don't have to shit. I mean, if, if it suck, it suck. Because you know? if, if it suck, we wouldn't be sitting here right exactly, now. Because exactly. I don't want to put anybody's shit that sucks on the stick in my pocket. Gotcha. Not, that I'm not, not that I'm all that. Exactly. But I want people to support. Gotcha. gotcha and I want gotcha. them to support a quality product. And and I haven't had Burt Majesty in a couple of weeks now. So let me just... Mm. Let me just get the taste back in my, mm-hmm. in my palate again. But for those who have not had Majesty Bourbon, it is super smooth. It's really different than other bourbons that I've tasted, different in a positive way, in that not, there's a lot of bur- bourbons that you can sip and are great sipping whiskeys, but this one is almost like, it's almost too good. Do, do it's it almost give, too easy. Do to it sip. give you a cognac vibe? Yes, it does. Thank okay. you. Yeah, definitely yeah, that's cognac, that's armagnac, right. any of those, exactly. any of the yaks. Exactly. <laughs> so that's what we want to do. We want to break so it. That, was that the goal? That was the goal because, you know, African-Americans were the number one consumers of cognac. Mm-hmm. So it's just like being in this industry, mm-hmm. we wanted to do something that would draw us in. So that was the overall goal, you know, making it sweeter, mm-hmm. you know, Making it but smooth. it's not too sweet. It's not. It's not too sweet it's because not. we we have that bite in it as well. Mm-hmm. You know, we just didn't want to make it too too sweet. Mm-hmm. But we want to give you the kick of the cognac as well. So a lot of people compare us to Hennessy, but I'm just like, yo, Hennessy is trash. Mm-hmm. So it's like, don't compare me to Hennessy. But it's like mm-hmm. I kind of do appreciate it because that is a a great bad compliment. It is. If you what know what, what is our love affair with Hennessy? You a whiskey guy? Tell me why? I, I why do we? Why do we love it? Particularly in our community, why do we love Hennessy so much? I just think it's because like our grandfather's drunk it, mm-hmm. our great great grandfather, and it's just like sometimes we get stuff is just implanted in us. Like mm-hmm. we are afraid to step outside the box, so it's just like also people feel important drinking Hennessy. You feel mm-hmm. like you popular, you drink Hennessy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I always been the type that want to step outside the box. Like I don't want to be in the crowd. Mm-hmm. I don't care if you, y'all are going right. I'm gonna go left because okay. it's just. I see my own vision. Okay. So it's okay. like, I just think overall, people are just too consumed on being popular mm-hmm. and trying to fit in mm-hmm. versus sticking out. Yeah. You, you know yeah, I know exactly what you're yeah, saying. Yeah. So you you wanted you wanted to fo- first focus on a quality product. That's the, that's the first thing because yeah. if, if you're not quality, you can't compete. Mm-hmm. Because like I say, if people already expect for us, you know, like it's bad to say, but by, by us being African-American, they, they already expect for our product to be lower quality. Yeah, anyway, which is, which is it, some it, it's bullshit. a bad stereotype, it but it's just stereotype. like, but we have great quality products, but it's just like, I just wanted to prove like, yo, we can compete with the big boys mm-hmm. and we African-American. We're, we're, yeah. we're the minority in the game, but it's mm-hmm. like, we're going to compete with the majority, you know? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, and, and you're a relatively young guy, man. I mean, I'm, I'm young enough. I'm you're a young guy. No. I mean, you're a young guy. I got guy. some gray hairs. So, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, but in, in the world of whiskey, that's young. That, that's real young. That's yeah, because like I see a lot. I see a lot of like old heads. Yeah, 85. Yeah, like, in, in the whiskey game. Exactly. So this is young for you to have your own brand like this. Take me back a little bit. How did this even start coming about? I know we talked about it a little bit back on our Zoom session, but I don't think we had a chance to really go deep. I want to know a little bit about how this brainchild even start, man. Wait. Okay. Um. Previous to this, I actually worked with the cognac. Okay. It was um actually a African American cognac. Okay. It was um actually one of the first that was woman on the first that was woman on. Mm-hmm. Um. For that particular brand, I was COO. Okay. Um. I pretty much took that brand from idea, um, to a hundred plus locations rather quickly. Okay, so you had experience. You've done this before. This is not your first rodeo then. Not my first rodeo, but it's still my first rodeo. Okay. Because okay. that situation, it took off so fast and ended so fast. Uh, oh, so it's gone. It, it's gone. Okay. That situation is gone. and I mean, what happened, man? Who fucked it up? I mean, was it uh, you? Was it? Oh no, no, no! It, it, was it the team? Was it I the mean, concept? Was it, the, it was I mean, the liquor? What the, the concept was there, uh-huh. but it's just like sometimes you know, saying you, you got to have the right leader mm-hmm. in place. 
Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I think it was like when the head's not right, mm -hmm. I mean, the body can only last for so long. You know okay. what I'm saying? So it's okay. just like we were keeping the head up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And finally, like, that head got chopped. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, so I, like, somebody told me early on in my career, the fish stinks from the head. I don't, exactly. it, I don't yeah, know all yeah. what that means because I ain't never yeah. spelled a, a fish head, but that, that, <laughs> they say that, that the fish exactly stinks from the head. So it was just like once yeah. that situation yeah. ended, I um, pretty much – um. Being a COO, I built mm -hmm. up the connects. Um, I secured the distribution deal. I secured. Okay. Um, we had major deals with Hooters, Outback oh, wow. Steakhouses. Like we had like big deals that I secured. So pretty much, I just kept those relationships. So you knew what you were doing. I mean, you, you know, know what I mean? I mean? The fact yeah. that you came into this and you yeah. have you, you're walking me through your experience yeah. right now. So you I, you, I, you you knew you knew what was going on before you stepped into this. I knew what was going on, but it's just like. I wouldn't necessarily say fake it till you make it, mm -hmm. but it's just like when you're up against with, with them type folks, mm -hmm. you if you seem like you know what you're talking about, mm -hmm. you can get a long way. And I'm the okay. type of person where it's just like I knew a lot, but it's just like I maneuver my way through it. You learn quickly. And, and you since can I learn learned quickly, yeah. I cleaned everything up. Now it's just like I would sit down with anybody because I know what I'm talking about. Okay. But it's like I just made my way through it and learned as I went. Mm -hmm. But it's just like while I'm making mistakes, you didn't know I was making mistakes, but in my head I'm just like, mm -hmm. damn, I fucked up. Yeah. Let me get better and I just cleaned it up for the next round. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And so before that, you were like a you're a former athlete, right? I'm a former athlete, you know. Okay. I don't want to, you know, say two ball. That's okay. You know, I know you, athlete. but I heard you used to run people over and shit. I used you to know, run, play running back, you know, like I mean, <laughs> yeah, ran a four two, you know, play four two. Play I got a back. good buddy of mine. He gonna watch this podcast. He claims he weren't ran a four two. Now I don't remember him playing for anybody, <laughs> but he said he runs a four I mean, two, and he'll know who I'm talking about when I say this. Good at you know what I'm saying? And I'm always down to race. You know, so okay, like, okay. I, I still got it. You well, know hey. I still got it. I think y'all need to race we next time we, we, we all get we, together. We can get together. I, mean, I may be sore for three days after. I, mean, I can still probably kick out a four. Well, you know, four, you know, at least you can run because my knees are so bad from yeah, basketball yeah, yeah. over the years. I'm done. Yeah, I, don't, see, I don't run I anyway. I can't play no basketball. I got, I got dunked on. So it's like, oh, we all get dunked yeah, on in hoops. Don't worry about it. It's not a bad thing. But see, you like, what are you like, six foot? I'm six four. And I'm like, what, five, five, four? Yeah. Five, five. Okay. Okay. So it's like, okay. there's no excuse for you. <laughs> so you were like a scat back then? Um, um, actually, tailback. Tailback, okay. Yeah, tailback. Okay. And, and a wing back. Okay, all right. Yeah. So but, you, just, but you were the guy, were you the guy kind of like a take it to the house guy? I was the guy where if I got the ball, it's, it's over with. You're mm -hmm. not going to really catch me. Okay, all they had to do was give you a crease? Just give me, that's all, a crease, that, that's all I needed. Like Okay. A crease, it was to the point where... Mm -hmm. I was so fast. My coach used to tell me to slow down, mm -hmm. let your guards swing, let your guards open a hole. Okay. okay. So I was running to the back of the guards, you know, uh -huh. like oh, so you, that fast. Sometimes you were probably going too fast. Huh? So what I had to do is I had to get the ball that stutter step uh -huh. to give them time to pull okay. and open a hole. I got you. Yeah. You had to kind of give them that little pause. That there. little pause. Because the big like, boys okay. don't move exactly. fast all the time. And I'm just like, man, bumping into them. <laughs> then I had to take it to the, mm -hmm. take it to the corner. I mean. I never played running out. back because I just wasn't my position when I played high school ball. It was just tight in a little bit. Yeah, but you got I, the height. Yeah, yeah, the height and everything. But I never, so I never was fast or shifty. Yeah. So I don't know what that feels like. Yeah. But I do know that the running back position requires a little patience. A lot of patience. Yeah. Just like it probably requires a little patience in business too. <laughs> so, so I'm assuming some of the your background in sports probably has it prepared, helped prepare you for some of the stuff you have to deal with now. Or? I mean, it has because it takes a different level of discipline, mm -hmm. and it's just like um, you really have to stay focused because okay. it's a lot of stuff that can distract you fast. And it's just like with me, I have so many ideas in my head, mm -hmm. and my business partners always be like, "Yo, write it down." Let's do a vision board. Mm -hmm. Let's chill out. Write it down. Because okay. I, I would have five different ideas in a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do that. Yeah. And they know I do it. Yeah. But they just be like, yo, plan, let's plan it out first. Mm -hmm. But they know that if it's planned out or not, <laughs> mm -hmm. I would do it. <laughs> so it's like, but that just let me know. It's, it's like a playbook. Mm -hmm. You got to learn to play. So mm -hmm. now it's just like when I have a new idea, Okay. I just make a playbook. And learn the plays of whatever mm -hmm. I want to do. Okay. And then okay. once I get it down, I roll it out. So that way, at least I know that you can put me in any game mm -hmm. and I can perform. Okay. You know okay. All right. I like that. I like that. And so, you know, we take that back to sports and take it now. You kind of, you know, I know at least I, I've done yeah, it yeah. in my career. You you kind of have that natural, hey, I'm going to go get it done no matter what sort of mentality yeah. Yeah, going kinda, on. 
kind of sort of, but it's just like it, it's pros and cons to it mm-hmm. because now it's like it's a very strategic game. Like it's like playing chess, so it's just like you you just gotta maneuver because sometimes. The move that you think is best is not the best move. It may mm-hmm. seem good, but mm-hmm. that particular move might not be the best move mm-hmm. for the business. So now it's kind of like being the coach of the team mm-hmm. versus being the player. Because when I was a player of the team, okay. give me the ball, yeah. I'm going to run it, I'm going to score. Now you're the CEO. So now the CEO. So now it's just like, let me sit back and see what can we do as a team to have us all win overall. Mm-hmm. So it's like I got to make sure like, the running back is on point. I got to make sure the quarterback know his plays. Mm-hmm. I got to make sure that – You got to know everybody's position. Everybody's position. Yeah. I got to be able to run everybody's position. So in case if you down, mm-hmm. I got to make sure that we still keep business up. And mm-hmm. I try to make sure that my team, if I'm down, I don't have to worry about or have to call them and like, hey, bro, like, what's going on? Like, yeah. I trust them to the point where it's just like they make they can make moves without me. Mm-hmm. You make moves. You got to, There's a certain point you got to trust, right? Yeah, we definitely trust. Okay. Because like we, we sit down on a daily basis. We have conversations. And they already know just like, I put you in a position to make the moves. Mm-hmm. So we're pretty much we all coaches. Okay. So it's okay. like y'all can call the plays. Mm-hmm. But it's like if I don't like if I don't like the play, we're going to sit down and talk about it. Mm-hmm. And majority of times when we sit down and talk about it, I'm not saying that I can easily be convinced. Mm-hmm. But it's like they come bring they bring their facts. Okay. And they be like, yo, I They're know ready. what you're saying. Go right. But yeah. check this out. This is why we oh. got to go left. And I'd be like, man, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to yeah. go left. Yeah. Oh, we're going we're gonna to go in the middle. And, 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 and you, and and you listen. Left. And I listen. That's good. A lot yeah. of people don't listen. A lot of yeah. CEOs and just people in a position of authority have kind of a I know it all complex. And that's the reason why the other brand that I work with failed. Okay. That CEO. I've seen that before. Knew it all. Nobody else could tell him anything. Nobody else could tell him. Tell her nothing. Oh, her? Okay. All tell right. her. Okay. Okay. Nothing. All right. So it's just like, so... It was a it was a great it was a great opportunity. Mm-hmm. It had some great traction. Mm-hmm. It was like I had a distribution t- company tell me it was lightning in the bottle. Mm. So that shit was unheard of. Like, kind of like this Majesty. I mean, <laughs> what one thing I will say is that okay. we have made more traction mm-hmm. in a shorter time with Majesty. But that that. That was a, it could have been a bigger project faster, mm. but this is going to be an even bigger project. Okay. You, you see okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's yeah. just like, so I learned a lot from mm. her quick downfall. Mm-hmm. So now it's just like, okay, like I seen no mistakes. So now I'm just like, we good. Okay. All right. And matter of fact, my business partner that I have now, my COO, <laughs> I was actually, I was actually, I worked for him. Mm-hmm. And then there was partners in it. Okay. So it's just like, it's, it's when you build great relationships. Like we, after the brand, that particular brand fizzled out, Mm -hmm. me and him had a great bond because we worked closely with each other. So I was just like, yo, bro, like, I want to do something. How you feel about working with me? He was like, hell yeah. You know, I'll work for you because I know that you're a worker. You know, I know that you're a grinder. So we came out the gate running. Okay. So is, is, so this is your team. Let's talk about that. So you mentioned it a couple of times. That you got a team. Got a team. It's not just you alone. No, not you're not going to take all the credit. Oh, no, it's, it's, How big is your team? How many of you are? Is there? It is three of us. Okay. And what what do other two gentlemen do? Um, Manye. I've seen them on the photo. Yeah, you some photos, it. but yeah. I don't know. I haven't had a chance to meet them yet. So Manye is my CEO. COO. Okay. He's my chief operations okay. officer. And then LaRue, he's my VP of operations. Okay. So pretty much, I wouldn't say there's no difference between all of our positions mm-hmm. because everybody knows everything. But it's just like, I'm just more, I guess you could say, uh, of the compliance type where mm-hmm. I make sure everything is good, yeah, all yeah. the licenses is good. You're making sure you stay out of hot water. I mean, exactly. I make sure, I make sure the, the money's paid. That's I make right. sure it's out of hot water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's just like, they're more on the operation side, making sure that we sustain. Okay. Like I say, Maya is very thorough as far as he, he has a lot of, he's from Gary, Indiana. Okay. So he, he's very, he's a hustler. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he's got to have that. And so it's just like being, it's like, um, legal drugs. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not a, I never, I'm not a, I don't, I'm not a drug dealer, mm-hmm. but like, this is like a legal drug where mm-hmm. it's like people fiend for this. At one point it was you know illegal, way back you know, in the day, right? Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Bootleggers and like yeah. people fiend for this, uh-huh. like people want this. So it's just like we are legal drug dealers. Okay. He's he's a hustler. So it's like all these different mindsets. And, and LaRue is more of, I would say he's the cleaner upper. And mm-hmm. I, I, that, that's not even a word. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But but he knows how to word stuff so good where you'd be like, 
oh, man, you know, because I would tell you straight up, like, no. Mm-hmm. Then he'd come back and be like, say this, like, blah, 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 you know, say, yeah. make it sound real sweet, mm-hmm. where it's the same no, but it sounds better. Okay. And he's more of my marketing guy. Okay. He's VP of operations, but pretty much, like, all the marketing, like, um, these designs and different things, those okay. were his, his ideas. Okay. All so right. it's like, we, we all played a part okay. in it, and it's just like, one person may be the engine, but you still need those tires. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's okay. just like, that's how I look at it. Like, I need them mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. be able to function as mm-hmm. a business. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. And you guys have had, I mean, I'm just saying, a phenomenal ride. Sure. You and I have been talking along the way. When we first met, I think you were less than 100 locations still. If I think I, back then it was like, it, it, I can't it remember. like 40. Yeah, I remember that. That's, that's, 40 that, in one state. That sounds familiar. It was about 40 in one where state. Where you at right now? Here we are, what, about eight, nine months later, where you are now? Oh, man, I love Lost Track. Okay, um, we are in, I would say, okay, we're in about 150 plus locations, but we're in okay. the state of Georgia. Okay. We're in, we're in the state of Georgia, Kentucky on the ground, Florida on the ground. We are available in 26 states online. Wow. Uh, we secured a national um, deal with Walmart Liquors. Okay. Uh, we'll be, that should be rolling out in Florida Are now. You, uh, so you're in the, you're just now hitting the store, the shelves? Uh, we're, we're, we're just now hitting the stores and shelves for Walmart Liquors in Florida. Okay. Well, we have a national deal for that. That's um, a beautiful thing, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh, we, we have a national deal with Total Wines. Okay. Uh, I, I saw you in Total yeah, Wines. Th- th- saw th- that. Th- that's about to roll out. Um, mm-hmm. We're going to be as well um, on the ground in Texas. Um, I just secured a deal for New York and California, mm-hmm. so that should be rolling out on um, mm-hmm. February the first. Mm-hmm. And you know, I'm working on some so, so, some more major stuff, but I'm, I'm, I'm just sure, trying to keep it, like, sure. like I only yeah. put out stuff when it's just okay. like right. I, it's like a need to know basis. Mm-hmm. Like I just put out a little bit of stuff to tease folks and let folks know. Okay. Like he's teasing right now. We, we behind the scenes, okay, working. You know, and it's just like a lot of moves I want to make. I don't want to make because like. I, I worry about other people's as well. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because it's just like, if you have a product in a certain state, I know I can come to your state and I'll shine you, mm-hmm. but it's like, I'm going to let you have your, I'm going to let you keep your throne in your mm-hmm. state. So it's okay. like, there's a lot of moves like that that I want to make. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily saying that I want to throw on some folks, but it's mm-hmm. just like, I just want to let everybody. But you want to win. I want to yeah, win. You want to win. I mean, I wanna, I'm going to I want to win, yeah. but it's just like, I'm going to just let let the, let them fall off or say like you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying mm-hmm. when they out the gym mm-hmm. I'm gonna stay in the gym mm-hmm. so that way when I pass them they know I was working you, okay. you know what I'm saying so okay. it's like I have a lot of those moves that I'm gonna be strategically mm-hmm. doing in uh, 2021 that's gonna like upset a lot of folks okay you know what I'm saying is that not gonna be, upset them because they're not gonna be able to keep up they're not gonna be able to keep up so it's just like mm-hmm. so it's one of them things where it's just like I'm all for you know being completely honest I'm all for um supporting others okay you know like supporting our 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 kind mm-hmm. you know supporting um other brands that's like me in the industry mm-hmm. but it's like at the end of the, at the end of the day it's, it's business mm-hmm. it's not personal it's not personal it's just like we all it's like when you when you was that like linebacker tags yeah, the so running back exactly, across the middle exactly. it's, it wasn't personal exactly. well so, maybe sometimes it might be personal exactly. on the team you're playing against but yeah. so, it's not personal so, so that's it's the business. thing so yeah. it's, it's not personal yeah and like I said, I'm all about helping other brands. Like mm-hmm. I, I have a couple brands that's under my um Pots Beverage Company mm-hmm. that's black owned that I'm that I'm helping, you know, get established in the state. Okay. But it's like some moves I'm about to make is is gonna be some things where it's just business mm-hmm. and it's just like you, you either gotta step up or mm-hmm. sit back. You know, okay. you, you know what I'm saying? Not yeah. like a cause I'm not a with business, I'm a very humble person, mm-hmm. but it's just like I know what we're gonna do. Mm-hmm. You so, have a vision and where you want to go. I have a vision, and it's just like my vision is like a year ahead. Okay, and that, well, as a CEO, you have to be able to see down the yeah. road. But I mean, we don't reached peaks that I thought we would reach a year from now. Okay, into twenty twenty one. Why? Why is that? I don't know. It's just like when you manifest, yeah, and when you know your purpose, because mm-hmm. it's one of the things where it's just like we have like a couple of national deals mm-hmm. within our first six months of, be, of being a brand. Okay. So the type of deals that we have, there have been brands that's been on the market for five years that can't secure, you, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. some of the deals. Mm-hmm. So it's just one of the things where I'm kind of looking forward to 2021, mm-hmm. but then it's just like things have been happening so fast. I'm just like, yo, like 
if we've been getting these major deals so fast, mm-hmm. what, what can top this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, well, obviously, there's a serious grind mentality yeah. to you and the team yeah. for you to have this type of success. What's a typical day like? I mean, you must, for you to get these type of relationships and national deals established so quickly, you know, there's got to be a certain discipline that you execute on every day. What's I mean, that look like, man? Where you come up, you get up in the morning, you work out, you just get up and start grinding on whatever. You have goals that you set for yourself every day. What's that look like? Man? I mean, to be completely honest, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be. It's just like it's not luck. Mm-hmm. It's definitely I, not I, luck. I would say it's faith. Okay. It's not luck. It's one of the things where it's just like a lot of the moves that happen. Like I don't know how they happen. Mm-hmm. It's like a situation where it's just like I had dreams about being at Walmart. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, shout out to, like I say, Legacy in Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Um, my distributor in Kentucky, you know. Okay. They, um, they introduced, you know, set us to Walmart. But when Walmart hit, when Walmart contacted us back, they were just like, yo, like, your 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 brand is absolutely amazing. Mm-hmm. It tastes is amazing. So it's just like, those guys introduced us, but it's just like, you can get introduced to someone mm-hmm. and it did don't go through. Because uh-huh. I'm quite sure they... they get millions of brands. Okay. So on the average day, it's just like, I just wake up, I may do a couple emails, mm-hmm. check my Instagram. Okay. And then it's just like, we have certain goals that we want to reach. Like, mm-hmm. um, my age from Gary, Indiana. Mm-hmm. So I know for a fact that we do good in Indiana. Okay. So it's like, what I do is like, I'll research like, um, top distribution companies in mm-hmm. Indiana. I'll okay. reach out to them. Mm-hmm. And it's easier to reach out with, to them with stats. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm in such and such locations. Okay. I done ran through such and such many cases. Mm-hmm. Um, we actually sell through. Okay. Because it's a difference in being, see, a lot of people try to throw shade. Of course. I'm not necessarily, <laughs> I mean, it has been some of our black owned brands. Oh, really? They're, they're subliminally, yeah, you can be in a lot of locations, but uh-huh. they don't mean you're selling. Uh-huh. Well, you're just mad they weren't a lot of locations that were selling. Okay. And you're in a little bit of locations and not selling. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. They're, they're, they're shade. That come from all angles, all angles. but it's so just like I just, it on both ends. I mean, I just tone it out. Yeah, and it's yeah. just like you, you will never know that I know a shade, but mm-hmm. it's just like it's, but, that's when it's time to put the blinders on. Yeah, that's like that running back mentality that's come right. in, where it's just like just stay focused in my lane and just mm-hmm. you know keep moving. Okay, what's been the hardest thing about starting Majesty? Like, I mean, I know it's been a grind, and I know it hasn't. Even though you've exploded out of the gates and had a lot of success early. What I mean is, what's been the most challenging part of all this? I mean, overall, I think the most challenging part is like being African American. Really? Because of the simple fact that um, nobody wants to do business with us. It's it, it's hard to say, but it's do, just like do you get a lot of doors closed. Yeah, a lot of doors. It's Are just people like, not taking you seriously. The doors won't even open mm-hmm. because like we don't even get opportunities. Mm-hmm. So it's like. Well, now you got some pretty big opportunities with Total Wine and Walmart. I now, mean, those are big doors to knock the, down, though. The, I would those, say that's pretty the, positive. Those are definitely big doors to knock down. But I think that based on everything that's been happening as the economy, Black Lives Matter mm-hmm. and different things of that nature, mm-hmm. it's like not necessarily saying we're more benefit. It's, it's, it's bad to say we're more beneficial to them now, but we always been beneficial. I see what you're but saying. But now they see it like, yo. We need to focus on the, uh, the these black brands. Uh-huh. We need to focus on mm-hmm. the black dollar mm-hmm. because now we see a vision where we should have been seeing mm-hmm. way back in the day. Okay. So if you were have if you had somebody that came and bought Majesty Bourbon, and they asked, you know what? How do I drink it? I mean, I know you can drink bourbon. Obviously, everyone that, especially a whiskey head, knows you can drink bourbon neat mm-hmm. on the rocks. But how do you drink it? Um, myself, I like mine in mixed drinks. Okay, so you you're a cocktail guy. I'm a cocktail guy. That's okay. kind of crazy. <laughs> That's okay. Like, That's all right. But it's just like my favorite right now. It's a pink lemonade, mm-hmm. Sprite, and Majesty. I, 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 <laughs> I never would have put that combination together. Yeah, I'm not I ain't gonna lie. Great tasting. But you got me intrigued. Yeah, it's like it's not my thing, but I'm gonna try it because you said to try it. <laughs> it's, it's like the the sweetness of the pink lemonade with the sprites carbonation mm-hmm. and the majesty. It, it's it's kind of like a tropical spicy vibe because mm-hmm. once you put it in the pink lemonade, it really brings out the rye. Okay. So it's like that undertone of spice, but with the tropicalness of the Sprite and 
the pink lemonade. Wow. So it's really, really good. It's like kind of like Kool-Aid. Oh, it's shit. like okay, really good. Okay, so really we're gonna have to try that one day. Yeah, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna try that. And I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna let you know yeah. how I like it. But you probably like a mule guy or a mule. Okay, mule or okay. okay. So and and though some people call it with bourbon, they call it like a Tennessee correct mule. Correct. Okay, but so, this is a Georgia mule. Exactly. So, <laughs> we call this a Georgia mule. I like that. Th- that's really good as well. Um, old fashioned. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really good. Um. Margarita, okay, it's really good. Like bourbon margaritas, like mm. just, people don't do it. People mm. usually eat tequila, okay. But I mean, with Majesty, I mean, it, it's really, really smooth. Yeah, like you can do everything as a traditional margarita with the salt and different mm. things, but mm. with the bourbon, it's it's just a whole different experience. Oh man! So Definitely. all right, so bourbon margarita, bourbon margarita. I gotta try it. I'm a margarita fan. Definitely, uh, give me some Mexican food. Exactly, and give me a mar- taco, yep. some burrito, enchiladas. Yep. I'm good to go. Yep, some bourbon. <laughs> all right. Good so and, and I, one thing I love to do, we talked about you know stick men and uh, Majesty Bourbon collaborating. We've Definitely. done a lot of stuff. I've, I look forward to doing a whole lot more with Definitely. you. Um, we have some stuff. We want to do some giveaways. Cool. Some cool. we're gonna do some Majesty Bourbon. Stick me and giveaways that together works. so folks look out that for works, that. Definitely. We're going to do, um, uh, I got a whiskey and cigar pairing coming up. We're going to get you okay. smoking cigars cool. at some point. Yeah, I know like, you don't like it. We, at we some point. Have, you don't have to smoke a little bit. That could be the introduction. That could be the introduction. So we're going to get definitely. my man John introduces some cigars. Definitely. Um, but we're not going to force it on you. Cool, cool. But it's about the lifestyle. Yeah, I, it's I, about the culture. It's about the lifestyle. It's people. I have to be a Relationships. That's right. Bourbon and whiskey. I mean, whiskey and cigars. I mean, kinda, it kind of goes. It makes sense. We're going to look forward 10 years from now. You're going to be like, man, I'm yeah, a big yeah. cigar head. I'm going to be like, okay. Exactly. I started it. I helped exactly. start it. And I'm going to be in the stick bed. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's Definitely. right. So we're going to do some stuff together. So cool. look out for if you're watching this podcast, that means you're going to also hear about the giveaway that we have. Definitely. Subscribe to stickmen.blog. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, and we're going to get you some majesty stuff. We're going to get you some stickmen Definitely. stuff. And we're going to make it happen, man. I'm so glad I got a chance Appreciate to come it. down here to the Brownstone ATL and chop it up with my man, John Gillard of Majesty Bourbon. Brother, Appreciate it. thank you. Appreciate this it, has God. been a great conversation. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Um, look out for us. Come down, check out Brownstone. Go check out Majesty Bourbon online. Yeah, um, online at www.drakemajesty.com. Um, it'll list all of our um, locations, um, all of our latest updates. Oh, man. Definitely. So I got to get me some bottles for the house. So Definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a customer. <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> I'm going to be a customer. So, hey, until the next time, check us out, Stickman Podcast. You can see us on YouTube. You can see us on, well, listen to us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. Until the next time, Puff Sip, Chat Repeat, Stickman number one, I'm out. Peace. See you later.